Well, a woman is just thankful she and her dog are okay after a fire in Sullivan this morning. Taylor Johnson joins us with the latest developments. Taylor. Sadie, Sullivan firefighters were sent to a fire on North Main Street around 11 this morning. And when they arrived on the scene, what they found was a garage up in flames. I never thought it would be me, you know, like, it was so random. Sabrina Krinkowski was away from a home on North Main Street for only an hour before getting some shocking news. I was actually at Speedway. Um, I just got a beer and I went to go sit in the shade. And um, I was telling someone where I'm staying, you know, I was like, do you know the neighbor George? He's like, yeah. Um, the house right next to him, I'm like, yeah. He's like, that's on fire right now. I was like, what? Krinkowski says only one thing was on her mind. So I got on my bike, I threw my beer, and got over here. I was like crying on the way here, you know, thinking about my dog, like Puppy. Um, yeah, thank God he's okay. I mean, officials say Puppy was tied on the front porch of the home nearby and taken into animal control custody. Krinkowski and officials say the fire was accidental. I was smoking a cigarette. Um, I dyed the cigarette out, you know, and like. I saw like uh, pants smoking, you know, um, so I went over to the pants and stepped on it, made sure it was died out, I picked it up and it was definitely from the cigarette. The fire destroyed the garage and burned the back of the home. A next door neighbor says she was on her way to her own house when she saw the fire trucks headed her way. The closer I got, the more nervous I got because I was afraid it was my house and my little dog's in there. <laughs> Frankowski says she's just glad no one was hurt. Seriously, so thankful that puppy's okay. You know, um, I'm okay. The neighbors are okay. <laughs> the Sullivan Fire Chief tells me that crews got the fire under control within 15 minutes and they kept it from spreading into the home. He also said the home was spread out enough that no other homes were harmed. Thank you, Taylor. The Sullivan Fire Department says damage costs have not yet been estimated.